Eddie, the older engine, was have been in the railway for a long time. He was wise and kind to everyone and really supportive friends. Like Jamie, Jackie, Clara, Tom, Norman and Paul. But not being supportive friends like Yandel, Rob and Gregory. But it really doesn't matter to him because he was a very hard worker. That wasn't until one night, Rob, Yandel and Gregory were constantly teasing Eddie. that the stout director should never keep Eddie since he was too old. He should be retired from working this railway, and he need to find for some preservations from the other railway. Yeah, or he should be scrapped or put him into some museum piece. Hey, at least Eddie is my friend, and he will never do that to you three. Oh, watch your tone, Tom. Last time you tried to pull the express, and you failing to stop and causing the legal damage to those buildings... That was one time, and let me tell you- Everyone, that's enough. I know you guys tried to up to something with your own opinions about Eddie, but to me, you three are done nothing but insulting, uncalled, bullying, and hurting, and talking like bullcrap from you three. You guys are acting like three years old, which is not so mature. Now we need some sleep, and leave Eddie alone. This made Eddie feeling discomfort, mortified, and hurt. The next day. Hurry up, Norman. My express was about to departing for five minutes. All right, all right. Geez, Rob, when you're going to learn some manners for a change. If Norman wasn't so busy to bother with Rob, he didn't know the points were jammed up. One moment he was on the rails, and the next he came off the line. Oh, no. What are you doing? You're supposed to bring to me with my express, not resting yourself into the ground. Hey, that's not my fault when these points weren't set up. There's no time to make up in situations. Eddie, who came to help, he shunting the coaches to Rob, and he helped Norman back on the rails. What's the matter? It's just, well, the big engines say that I was going to retire from the railway and put me up into preservation or museum or I'm being scrapped. Oh, don't let these imbeciles get yourself down. You know you are trustworthy, reliable, and helping to everyone in need, and still really useful. I mean, you're still an old engine, but that wasn't going to happen, and it doesn't mean that you could going to museum or being preserved for so easily. The stout director will never get rid of you, and he always care all about you, no matter what. Thanks, Norman. I will... Later that day, Eddie was collecting some vans and take to other side of the Maple Railway.
After he delivering some vans, he just sat there. And I do need some water anyway to clear my throat. Can you bring these empty hoppers back to the yard for me, please? Uh, I'll try. As he chuffing along at one track and one lane of road, he spotted something. Hang on. Is that red car known as the Stout Director's car? It seemed to me that you're right about this. I think there's two burglars just stolen the stout director's car, and there's a big box of jewelry inside of it. And so the chase were on. Ahead, there was a small crossing with no gates, which Eddie had an idea. Well done, old boy. You are a bravest engine that I could have remember. A few weeks later, after the stout director's jewelry was stolen, but now safe and sound, and he congratulate Eddie for his quick thinking and brave actions. Eddie, we're all sorry for teasing you so horribly. Yeah, we're all wrong about you after we're all being rude. It's okay, you three. You know it doesn't mean that I was old engine, that I was being preserved to the other railway or museum in the rest of my whole life. What will the railway would manage without me? 